So this is a quick tutorial on creating those fake depth of field blur passes that you often see in ZBrush renders. So find the camera angle that you like for your, your model. Once you've done that, go to your draw menu and I'd advise that you lock it using this icon here. Just when you're doing multiple passes, um, you're going to be able to get back to this camera, which is kind of handy. From there, just press shift or or hit this button up here and that will do your BPO render and that will generate a series of passes by default. So all these passes should be here. If you go to your render menu, under BPO render pass, you'll see that the following passes have now been generated. So I'm just going to save out the composite. I'll go back to my render. All I have to do is click on it. I'll save out my depth pass. I'll click save on that as well. And then I'll just go into Photoshop and now I'll open up those two files. So from there, we want to hit Control A and Control C on the depth pass. Go into your composite pass, into your channels create a new channel, new alpha channel, and then hit Control V to paste that in. We'll rename this My Depth. And go back to RGB. When we go back to our, our main layer, we'll double click on this just to allow us to edit it and to create a duplicate. I'll hit Control J. So this will be the before. i just rename this. And this will be the after. So for this after pass, all we need to do is go to the filter, blur, and lens blur. That will now ask us to choose the source of our blur. Um, we created a depth pass called My Depth, which was in the channels here. So we're just going to specify that. And rather than actually try and you know guess at a distance here, we can actually just click anywhere on the viewport here or on the image to say this is where I want the focus of this to be. So I can bring that over to his eyes, for example and we can play with the radius to either increase or decrease the amount of blur on that. So if I say OK to that, we zoom in a little bit. So this is the, bef the after, this is the before rather, and this is the after. If you want, you can create another mask on this, and we just paint this front bit out, nice big soft brush. And that way we have the depth of field blur just at the back if that's what you're looking for. So that can really help push your character forward and give it that extra bit of depth. Hope this tip helps and as usual if you like it do feel free to click subscribe and like and all that jazz. Alright, bye.